Next up, multi-talented Queenslander Susan Seeple is on the water. She's also competed in para-equestrian and swimming, but settled on canoeing and is doing it in style. Let's go back to Lagoa Stadium for the final of the KL2 200 metre race. Seeple and Wiggs to the stars to watch in this race. Bit of a headwind for the competitors to endure today. And we're away in the KL2 final. Susan Seeple, the 30-year-old, off to a really strong start in lane number three. But look at Wiggs, the 36-year-old from Nottingham, world champion in this event the last two years after representing her country in sitting volleyball four years ago in London in her home Paralympics. And she's out in front. Seeple is going along nicely in pursuit of a medal, just as she's managed at the last two world championships. She might be in about second or third at the moment, going along nicely. Alana Nichols in lane number one a gold medalist in wheelchair basketball back in 2008 with the United States of America and also competed in alpine skiing at Paralympic level but now Wiggs shows her class and pulls away from the field Seeple looking good for a medal as well in lane number three but it's all Wiggs out in front she takes the gold the Brit Lagatenko from Ukraine the silver and well done Susan Seeple she claims the bronze for Australia Superb performance from the Aussie. It's Seeple who's competed in para-equestrian and swimming in the past. Has found her home in para-canoe. And that was a great paddle.